This week at Lebanon Row, we're talking about the fruit of the Spirit, goodness. No, it's actually goodness, not goodness. Yeah, that's what I thought first time you said it. Goodness, what's wrong? <laughs> Along with J.D. Buckner, I'm Adam Fawn, and we are glad to be back with you this week. And J.D., before we get into the subject this week, as we mentioned last week on our video, we finished our gospel meeting last Wednesday night, and then the young adults have the retreat this weekend. So a lot of good things have happened in the last seven days. Oh, yeah. And it has been, a, like you said, good things. So, Brother Dan Jenkins, he did a great job in, yeah. the, in the sermons. I enjoyed listening to every one of them. I even hope to steal a couple of those <laughs> if ever I need to preach in the future. And the young adult retreat, I was able to go up there on Saturday and stay through Sunday. And uh, everybody kept saying, what a good time they were having over there. It was a, it was a great event. Yeah, this is kind of, as I mentioned Sunday morning when I preached here, this is kind of retreat season at Lebanon Row. We, yeah. Once we get to late September, you know, through October, we've got what, three or four retreats or something, and we have to kind of wait to November to get our whole family back together. That's, that's right, that's true. <laughs> but they're always always good, and, and uh, we'll be having more to say about those as they as they get. A little bit. We've got a couple of weeks here between uh, the, the various retreats, but it just seems like when we get to October, it's like, Every Sunday morning, this group's gone or that group's gone or whatever. But that's that's fine. It's it's good and and uh, they're learning and growing together. And that's that's the main thing is we we try to honor God. Before we get to the subject, I also want to mention if you're new to our videos, uh, we want to remind you that you can go to our website. The church website is LebanonRoadChurchOfChrist.org, and right on the homepage there is a, a big banner that uh, has an archive of all the videos that we have done. And and since this is what about the sixth or seventh of these fruit of the spirit videos, we're just jumping in. You're thinking, well, I've missed a bunch of them. Well, you can go. That's the beauty of the internet. There, you you there can go is. back and watch all of them, or skip to the good ones. You know, or <laughs> whatever. We're skipping a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we appreciate Shane Williams does our website for us and uh, make sure that's kind of prominently featured on the, the home page there. You can see the, the archives. But we are talking this week about goodness, and I mentioned it, J.D., before we start recording. And this video is going to be really short because I, I, I was going to dig really deeply into the, the, the definition of the words and, and figure out what it means. And the word goodness means goodness. Goodness. Thank you for being with us. No, the, the, the word can also be translated uprightness. Or here's, what's, here's one confusing one. It can also be translated kindness, which is also on the list. Oh yeah, in some translations. That last week? Yeah, <laughs> uh, that I thought I better not bring that up. I thought, ah, oh, why not? That's just you know, let's confuse everybody. But yeah. I think the reason the word is is so easy is because it's a very general, generic word. But there is something interesting as I was thinking about this and preparing for this earlier before we start recording. It, we're, obviously, we're talking about the fruit of the Spirit. And what hit me when I really let, you know, let that kind of sink into my mind is, it's goodness as God defines it. And, and I think that's the thing we need to make sure we understand, is, is our world defines good one way, and God defines it another way most of the time. Yes. And I was reminded of what Isaiah told the people of his day, that the people had called dark, you know, evil good and good evil, and darkness light and light dark, and all, all those things. And I think that's really why this is on the list because it should seem really obvious that you know if, if we're uh, showing the fruit of the spirit that we're going to be good but it's good according to the spirit not good according to how i might want to define it or how the world might want to define it and that's why i think it's in this list i, I like that a lot yeah the, another thought that came to my mind was when you started talking about uprightness mm -hmm. you know what do people tend to do when they're ashamed uh, yeah, I mean, whenever my children are in trouble and they have, they know that I have discovered their <laughs> transgressions. Uh, the I, private eye who is their father. Yeah, I come to them and I ask, what are they doing or what have they done? And like, like normal children, they cower down and their heads are, are lowered in shame. Well, the idea behind goodness is the opposite of that. If you're walking uprightly, then you are... Uh, proud of your life, you are confident in the choices that you have made, you can hold your head high yeah. because you are behaving, going right back to what you were saying, the way that God wants you to, the good way, as, the, as God defines it, so that we can live an unashamed life. Uh, in our in our secret life and our public life, mm -hmm. so goodness, walking upright because you're living 
according to God's will. Yeah, that's that's a good illustration. Not not that I've ever seen it in my own kids or anything. Oh, yeah. I've, I've never yeah. seen. And I've okay. never personally done that. No, no. We're, we're speaking in theory here, yeah, of course, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But but that's, that's a really good illustration because each one of us, if parents or not, have seen that. You know, mm -hmm. in kids, they just you know they just all of a sudden it hits them that, that they've been caught and you know they just like, I, I like your phrase they cower down. You know, just, it's over at that, yeah, at that point in time. Mercy. But, yeah. <laughs> that's right. And one of the things we've mentioned, I guess, in all of these videos so far, the fruit of the Spirit, that may seem really, really obvious, but I think we need to keep going back to it, is how do we know what is good according to God? Well, here's the answer. You know, is, is well, I can think I know what God thinks is good, or I can know what God says is good. And the problem most of the time is we want to assume that what I think is good is also what God thinks is good. You know, I'm going to... I think this is good, so God has to agree with me because, you know, it, it's, it feels good to me or it seems good to me instead of how does God actually define what is good. Yeah, or we can retrofit it and say, well, I think this is good, so let me just pick and choose in here and, and try to prove my own case. But I'm so thankful that God has given us His Word so that we can know what is good and we can hold our head high with confidence that and we can do God's will. We can know God's will and we can do God's will. We can do good uh, in honor of Him and we can do good to others. Yeah, and, and I'll make one more statement here that again is really obvious that the list is, it's inspired list, but I think the order is one of those things that, you know, Paul just wrote an order. I, I think it is kind of interesting that goodness is right in the middle. You know, if it's going to be just the generic one, we would put it beginning or end, you know, I, I think. But Paul puts it basically dead center, you know, and kind of says, this is sort of where we're going to and where we're coming out of. Yeah, you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's goodness, you know, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, all those are good. Faithfulness, generous, and self-control, guess what? Those are good too. And so I, I, I just find it interesting. It's kind of right in the middle that of the is, thing. I never thought of that before. Yeah, I mean, it, that may not really mean anything, <laughs> but I, I find it interesting. It's kind of just dead center in this list, this real generic thing. But again, as we said every week, not an easy thing. Because we're trying to be good the way God defines it, and not just, well, I'm, I'm okay with everything, and so I must be good. And so, this week, we said the video is going to be pretty short because it's fairly simple, but uh, God does define goodness for us, and uh, we, want it, we want to be good, but we want to be good the way God defines it, and the way God describes it for us in, in Scripture. And we hope that you are enjoying these videos and, and growing from them. We, we enjoy doing them and uh, coming here to this very fancy palatial studio uh, each and every week. But we really do palatial. enjoy them. Palatial, that's a good word. I looked that up this morning. Like <laughs> and uh, we hope to be back with you again next week, continuing on with, with the Fruit of the Spirit. And email us if you have some ideas of what to do because there are, there's only about nine we can't do this forever you yeah know? we're running out we're, <laughs> we're running getting out. near the end of the list but if you have some things you would like for us to discuss we'd like to know that uh, maybe some suggestions of how to improve the palatial studio yeah that'd be a neat email too but again go to living road church of christ.org you can contact us through that website and watch the archives the videos and we appreciate you uh, letting us come to you each week with these videos we hope that you are enjoying them and and uh, growing from them and until next week this is this week at lebanon road <laughs>